It is kind of funny how when it rains it pours. It's like they come through here and little little packs of them. Nope, oh, there's one. You heard me. It's like, what'd you say about me? Got him. <laughs> oh, that's such a nice feeling. River Rats, I'm back in the good old Midwest where it is windy, blustery, and cold. But the good news is most of the ice is out, and I'm gonna show you a few tricks to help you catch cats when it's pretty cruddy weather. Of course, we gotta get bait, so let's go. Well, the bait I'm looking for, the none too picky. It's just looking for something alive and kicking, and we're gonna turn it into cut bait. You can get away with frozen bait and it actually does pretty darn good this time of year but I still do better with uh, the fresh stuff and if I catch very many any extras are going in the bait tank and we'll get that started for the year we're gonna start with the old Mormon bobber you know that that old number and if that don't get them which is very possible I'm gonna throw my net in those little slack water pockets. We don't need a lot. Cause I usually gonna be using pretty small chunks of bait anyway for some inactive cats. Yeah, this, this would have been frozen a week or so ago and a lot of our lakes, bigger lakes still got, oh no, I lost my worm. Found it, don't worry. Better than losing your mind. Uh, most of the lakes still got a pile of ice on them. And some of them are completely covered yet. But catfish can be caught. You might not pound on them, but they can be caught. In some days, you do pound on them. Okay. I'll try there. I don't know how deep it is. I guarantee it's deep enough for a creek chub. That's what I really want is some good old Midwestern Sneebs. Yeah, the only reason this doesn't have ice on it is because the water shot up, which is why it's really muddy too, which sometimes makes it difficult to catch them. Try deeper. Uh, appears to be at least that deep. They might not be here. If we can't get them, we'll, uh, I got some it's good old crawlers. We'll go catfish with those. It's really cold. But I'm not standing in three feet of snow, so I have that going for me. Well, let's try the other side. Shallower. Not always bad when the water's up. Oh, I have one. Never even knew it. <laughs> well, that's what we want. That is the creek chub right there. Echo, oh, oh, oh. I don't know if you heard that or not. But you can see that. That's catfish candy. Put him in the bucket for now until I transport him to his bait carrier. Sweet. We'll see how fast the fishing is for these fellas. Because if it's slow, oh, well, there's another nib, I think. You can also try to throw the net on them. Yep, there's a nibble. They're just nibbling it. There's always little that he will do. Two baiter right there. Maybe even three this time of year. I'm gonna cast right here a few more times and then we're gonna make our way over there. Yeah. We're a moving. Not far. Oh. There's a floater right there. Might grab him before we leave. They can be good bait this time of year. No matter what happens, I'm probably going to throw my cast net in here. 
could throw my net now, but creek chips are tough to get in a cast net lots of times, and I don't want on it all blow out of here when the net lands, because that is what they would do. Try to get three or four of them first. We don't need them all, we just need enough. I wonder, <laughs> I think he was on there the whole darn time. Oh, that's funny. I just kind of swam around with it. Not a care in the world. So we're up to three. We got three rods, four hooks. We got two rounds of bait. We need more. Got him. Not big, but that's fine. I've caught, I've been here where you just catch giants. Would not hurt my feelings to get a couple giant giants, but we're going in the right direction. Yeah, I probably enjoy fishing for creek chubs too much sometimes. I mean, it's not as good as the cats, but it's right up there. I think he's got it. Oh, yep. Oh, I lost him. Dang. First I thought I didn't have them, and then I realized I had them, and then I didn't have them. I don't know, you just cast around. It don't take long for them to eat if they're there. Tried the deeper side first, nothing. But it's funny, creek chubs act just like catfish. Like the water's up, the water's muddy, they're not going to be in this fast stuff. They're off in the shallow, slower current stuff. A fish is a fish is a fish. The only thing, reason they act different one place or the other is the type of habitat available. But if you find two places that are similar, it's funny how they act pretty much similar. He's nibbling, giving it all he's got. You're better than that, man. You can do it. I believe in you. But you, first you have to believe in yourself. Ooh, he's running right at us. Yeah, sweet. We are continuing to progress in the right direction. One in there taking a nap. All right, let's go throw the net a couple times and then it's catfish time. <coughs> Ooh. It's okay, I'm fine. Just here to make it all look easy. That would have really sucked because then my socks would have been wet. And I don't think I have a spare pair. I usually have a spare pair of socks, but I think I cleaned everything out of my truck once I got home because it needed cleaned, like literally cleaned. And they haven't been replenished. But we don't have to worry about that, thankfully. Just about to say this net has the smallest mess, mesh size legal in our state, which would be a quarter inch. Mostly use it to catch minnows, shiners, shiner minnows. We got some tangles in there. Hopefully, she opens. Yeah, that was ugly. Owning these little nets ain't so easy all the time. All right, nothing. We're out of here. Let's go catfishing. Well, I found open water. The spot I originally wanted to try was uh, pretty solid. So Woody and I came down here because I knew this is open. New day. Hopefully they're biting. So early spring. Like literally this was frozen last week. I like shallow mud. Shallow mud warms up fast. Maybe that's why they like to be up here. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But they do like these kinds of places this time of year. I'm a fran fan of fresh cut bait, but crawlers work too. So we're going to throw a worm out on one of them. 
and hopefully we find a few. We're gonna stay mobile though. I about mobily fell over. But for real, we're, we're gonna stay on the move. We're gonna give each spot about a half hour. Hopefully good things happen. We'll be entertaining reeling a cat over this mat of junk if we're so lucky to hook one. Look like a good spot, Wood? I hope so. Stuck in the mud, it's so shallow. Blusteriness is gonna make fishing tough, Woody. How's that rod holder taste? It's kind of an odd thing to sample, but whatever. We got the shallow water. We got the, the muck. Now we just need the cats. And lastly, we'll throw the old uh, double hook rig out. Yeah, I like these areas because the fishing's good, but the convenient part is, is if you can find a spot that isn't too muddy, it's pretty pleasant, especially on an unseasonably warm spring day. I don't expect it to be gangbusters, but hopefully we can get a few. Got him, had him. I don't know if I still got him. Drag slipped on the hook set. Definitely don't still got him. I don't know if I had enough mustard on that hook set. That's a good sign. I was on the crawler. Could have been a carp, could have been a cat. It was definitely life up here in these giant mud flats. It's a cool area. Oh, we got another nib. It's on the cut bait. There is life over here. Got him. Had to give him a little more mustard on that one. Funny, as soon as camera batteries start dying, the fish start biting. Always sloshing around out there. It's a kitty. Sweet. First cat, first fish, Iowa fish of 2023. And it feels good. Oh, he ain't even bad. He's bigger than I thought he was. This one ate a crawler. Still a cut bait fan, but worms get the job done. Come here. Through all that junk. Got him. Oh, he's mucky. Of course he hit when I was thinking about moving. First one of 2023 up in the Midwest and they all make me smile, but that first one makes me smile a lot. So I'm gonna let him go. Hopefully there's more to come. Shallow mucky mud channel cats. It's great. All right, buddy. Whenever you're ready for it. I'm wrong direction. Let's try that again. And round two. Hopefully we can get another one, Woody. That one came on the crawlers. I don't know how much it matters. But it's nice to know you don't have to spend an hour or two catching fresh cut bait to uh, catch cats. You can just go to Wally World and get some crawlers. Or better yet, your local bait shop. As far as rigging goes, I don't think it matters all that much. I got uh, just a Carolina rig on this one. Oh, my sinker slide broke. Gonna have to replace that, but got a sinker slide. 
you don't even need that. You just need a sinker, swivel, leader, small J, because I like setting the hook, and then uh, cut bait or crawler. Or, those are my two favorites. You could use stink bait this time of year. I don't know how well it'd work. I've never had that much success on it. Tried it quite a bit growing up, but generally cut bait or crawlers, natural stuff. Get some when other stuff won't. What do you think, Woody? You know where the cats live? You wanna share? Wanna tell me where the cats are? Okay, I see how it is. You definitely don't need sinker slides, but I really enjoy being able to take the sinkers off when I'm trouncing through the woods or you're putting your stuff back in your uh, rod locker or whatever. It really reduces tangles taking your sinkers off as long as you remember to close the clip. If you don't close the clip, that gets tangled on lots of stuff. Get out there, buddy. She wanted to fluff up a little, didn't let it. Okay. Even if we keep catching a few here, I still want to move because I think it would be better around the corner with the wind at her back. There we go. Time for another one. We're five. That'd be cool. Pretty tentative. I got him. <laughs> Sweet. I think he had it the whole time. But I reeled down to get that hook started going into him. Where's he at? And then smacked him. He's not big. Oh, he's little, little him over this stuff. Easier said than done with the Dublé hook rig, but we pulled her off. What do you think, Woody? Prime eater? I think so. Imagine some of the ones we missed. Probably looked a lot like this guy. That's a fun one. They're all fun. I don't know, it's just tough to beat a day like today. It's warmer than it should be. The catfish are biting. Life solid. Hanging out with my dog. Good things are happening. Right, see you, bud. You know what? I think it's time to move. I think we can catch them somewhere else and do it more effectively than here. So we're going to try it. Could be wrong. We can always come back. We'll try this spot. I kind of feel better about it, but the fish will tell us in short order. Okay. Still nice, shallow, and mucky. Maybe slightly deeper. Not as windy, not as much junk floating by. Still some decent current. Oh, I accidentally turned my camera off, but he, he hit her pretty good. Now he's running at me. This log has moved in the way. I like this spot, that was quick. Nice one too. I just spooked another cat right here. Reeling this cat in. They are in the muck. I like it. Okay, I gotta hop him over this. He's on the top hook, so this might not go well. Got him. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. Okay. You hit it hard, dude. That was cool. The shallow, mucky mud. They dig it. 
I kind of enjoy the shallow water fishing if we're being quite honest. It's cool to fish deep, but I think it's extra cool to catch nice fish out of really shallow water. Yes, that's a dandy right there. My definition of a dandy. Au revoir, little friend. See ya. I need to do that again. That's pretty sweet. I think we even still got bait on there and it's plenty fresh enough to just cast her right back out. Got him. <laughs> oh, playing on my phone. That's when they hit. I don't really care when they hit as long as they hit. This log is once again going to be an issue, but I don't know. Well, maybe we'll figure out a better way of getting around it. Once again, the Dublé hook rig. I think I can steer him. This isn't like the shallowest water right here. This is a lot quicker action than where when where we were at. Sweet. These are nice ones too. Not monsters, but just nice ones. Come on over here. Get around them logs and such. There we go. Oh, you hit the top hook. Weird. About 90% of them hit that bottom hook. And there's a little bit of a leak in my boot. Not too bad, but a little bit. All right, we got another another fine. I mean, eater size, if you're looking to eat one, this is perfect and out of cold water. It's about as ideal as you get, but I'm sure I'll be keeping a few at some point in time, sooner than later. Fried catfish is just too good not to. All right, buddy. See ya. Go ahead. Bye. Is he still there? Got him. <laughs> I'm skiing this little fella. I guess this is a pretty powerful reel. Oh. Do I got him? I don't think I have. Uh, I think I got him. We have a double. Um, let's try to get one before we worry about getting two. How about that? Okay, we got one. Let him chill there. I think I still got this one. But I'm not sure. I do not. I don't know how I missed him. Well, I do. I don't know. There's some nuance to setting the hook on any fish. Catfish are no different. You got all my crawlers though, that rascal. Mm, come here, bud. Oh, he's stuck in a sandal, I think. Yeah, it's like a little kid's sandal. Okay. And you could 110% use circle hooks for this. But I like J-hooks for flatheads, and this is like practice. At least that's how I look at it. it looks ugly now, but we're refining this. So I, I'm a believer that if you're just flathead fishing, the J-hook is superior to the circle hook, if you know what you're doing. If you're novice or aren't very good with the J-hook, then you should probably stick to circles. But you know, whatever fits your style. When I'm in blue cat water, I fish circles. But in Iowa, J hooks for me. All right, throw them back. And as you can see, I have a long ways to go to get back in the old swing of things with the old J hooks. If I don't get any better, I might be, might be fishing circles. Need more bait though. And I was going to rebate the other one, and this one goes down. We're about to officially have no rods in the water. Glad I moved. <laughs> I thought this might 
might be able to present baits better here and detect bites and it appears that is the case. Can I get him over the log? I think I can. Yep. What about the other log? Yep. Sweet. It's kind of turning into pandemonium. A little ice out channel cap pandemonium. I dig it. Almost feels criminal to be down here catching all these by myself. I mean, I'll get over it. See ya. Get this back out there. It is kind of funny how when it rains it pours. It's like they come through here and little little packs of them. Oh, there's one. You heard me. It's like, what'd you say about me? Yeah, you get one here and then that one starts going and then the other one starts going lots of times. Then you go 20 minutes without a bite. Oh yeah, I just think they're moseying around here, wallowing in the mud and the muck. Pull it down there, buddy. Got him. <laughs> oh, that's such a nice feeling. You know, going back down, or going down to Florida kind of takes away from some of the joy of this. When you've been cooped up in the winter, miserable and cold. And you get the opportunity to come out here and do this. It's like, not saying it's the greatest feeling in the world, but from a catfishing perspective, it's pretty darn sweet. Come here, buddy. Appreciate you. They're really light colored. Wonder why. They're also not big. I mean, this lake has much larger ones. Maybe the, the little guys get moving earlier. I don't know. It's not uncommon to run into this, but I'm pretty happy to catch anything. Okay. Off you go, little fellow. But it's sweet. The old kitties are on the move. They're moving pretty good. This is pretty good fishing. <laughs> well... I ask for one more and I get one more. Can't complain. Oh, my reel's wanting to come off the reel seat. Maybe I didn't get her tightened all the way down. You know, everything's a work in progress. Sweet. All right, hop up over the log. Thank you. I'm catching these in the lake now and pretty soon I'll be catching them in the river. Not too picky though. I'll go wherever the wherever they are. Although it is bob or fun bobber fishing in the creeks. You could bobber fish out here, but I don't know if it'd be worth the the trouble. I'll let you keep that chunk, bud. See ya. <sighs> Life's good. Life's good and catfish make it better. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for me today, but cliff notes for all of this is think shallower and not deeper and think mucky, you know. I'm a pretty shallow, mucky person, so it comes easy to me, but, you know, if, if you head that direction, you're going to catch some, you're definitely going to run into some cats early in the year, and, you know, it's not always the best way, but usually get a few. If you're anything like me, that puts a big smile on your face after a long winter. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.